Hello everyone, Pentif here today for a new inch video concerning the ICE 2 SH and the ICE 130 because they are both available in a bundle for approximately 10.5k gold if I remember correctly and we're gonna see if the tanks are worth it or not. So let's first start with to me uh, the least in interesting tank of the bundle, the ICE 2 SH. Why is this tank not worth it? Because it's an another copy past of a Russian premium uh, version of a tier 8 and we have plenty of them and a lot of them are better than this one. This one had been power crypt. Uh, it was already bad when it came out first but now it's even worse. And why is it even worse? Because this tank can face uh, Object 252U or even IS-5 etc because it clearly don't have the tools to face these tanks. That's why maybe Wargaming put the bundle uh, IS-2SH and IS-130 because Wargaming probably knows that people are going to be more interested in the, in the IS-130 than the IS-2SH. And uh, can we blame them for that? Not really, I guess, because that's how marketing works. But we're not here to talk about this. Let's focus a bit on the pros and the cons concerning this tank. You need to know three main thing um, the ammo rack of the tank is located at the back so pretty much every time you're gonna take a shot uh, a shot from the back you're gonna get ammo racked that's uh, horrible that's just horrible but at least with your turret mounted on the back you can do some side scrap and of course use your turret uh, as a in a hold down position like I'm doing right here but the main problem with the tank is that even if you are a heavy tank your armor uh, especially uh, pretty much everywhere sucks because people when they are using gold against you especially tier 8 TDs They are gonna be able to penetrate you on the turret cheeks also on the hull without struggling at all And that's what in my opinion makes it a bit power creep because now we we are used to premiums that are completely broken For example the object 252U and clearly you would rather drive an object 252U than the ice 2 sh because you're gonna do better Even if uh, maybe you you still have a good mobility, but now now honestly the ice 2 sh is clearly not worth it if you're looking for a good a good heavy tank that can handle shots this tank is definitely not made for you I don't even know for who this tank is made because nobody's playing it anymore maybe that's why we decided to sell it again but please don't fall on the track it's not worth it except of course if you want the IC-130 but if you want to spend 10.5k gold on an IC-130 that's your problem but uh, yeah <laughs> I, I hate the tank, in case you didn't notice, I hate this tank and it was really a struggle, that's why here I did not bother trying to ace the tank, I went for a second class and that's all. <laughs> because there is nothing to say about this tank, I mean this tank is weak, it's, it got power creep over the years because it had been in the game for currently maybe two years by now. And yeah, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with a tank that can that is not even suitable for heavy heavy line you don't you don't you just don't you just let let it take some dust in the garage and skip to the other one the ICU 130 so concerning the ICU 130 really simple I already did a full review of the tank and that's why I'm probably not gonna edit the video with pros cons worth it or not tips to play it because uh, you can already found uh, f find the tank with its own characteristics on the channel but if we sum up what you need to know you have three main things you have no armor your mobility is average uh, still still a good one let's say it's 50 50 you're average in all t if you take all the tank destroyers mobility your average and of course what makes it incredible is the gold shells because with this tank gold shells have more penetration uh, more alpha damage not penetration sorry than regular shells that's why with this one you want to play full gold all the time and don't worry you're still gonna make credits uh, it's not like uh, you're using gold and you're gonna you're gonna end the game with a premium tank not even uh, not even making credits no it's not the case here you're gonna make credits but of course if you play full gold you're gonna make maybe a bit less credits and not even because by the big alpha damage you are compensating for the gold spent because uh, because the, the more damage you do the more credits you own so if you play full gold and you penetrate all your shots you are gonna be able to do everything right and uh, make a lot of credits and uh, to me the IC-130 is extremely fun but I would definitely not recommend it. That's why I don't think the bundle Wargaming put for 10.5k gold is worth it if you want to get the IC-130. 
Because, okay, the ICU-130 is extremely great, but you also have the ICU-152. Uh, I, I know I'm a big fan of both, uh, because I enriched my ICU-152 as well. It's uh, it's quite the same playstyle, it's just that the, the gun is changing. But, um, let's say that with the ICU-152, you, you're a tech tree tank, so you don't need to spend gold to get it. That's what, in my opinion, makes it... Uh, a bit uh, useless to, to buy the ICU-130 because if you can have your ICU-152 and just keep it in your garage and uh, run it when you feel like it, when you want to have some fun, you can. With the ICU-130 you need to spend gold. So why go for a gold tank when you can have the same equivalent but for, uh, for credits? That's the question I'm asking. But uh, for, for everybody wondering if the tank is still good, I truly think the ICU-130 is a, a lot of fun. You will love it if you buy it, but if you are really looking for some new gameplay or for something specific, I don't recommend it, because there is nothing specific about this tank. If you want to have a, uh, maybe a hint on how the gun performs, uh, even if you're not going to have the same reload time, but you can still try the... Uh, the tier 6, the same gun, I forgot the name, the SU-100Y, I think that's the name. You can try this one uh, with the with the gold shells, it's the same alpha damage as this one, but this one reloads in 9 seconds. You have one of the best DPMs at tier 8 with gold shells, uh, with the ICU-130, if not the best DPM at tier 8. Uh, so... Most of the time with this tank, if you manage to just camp and stay in the back, you're gonna do great things. Of course, I'm not doing that here because uh, because I hate camping, but still, that's how you're supposed to play it, in the back, uh, as a sport. And of course, you're team dependent, because if nobody's spotting for you, that's gonna be harsh. But, that's funny. That, that's a fun tank. I like it, uh, I, I, especially when you when you put 530 on tier 7s, because you, you can probably destroy most of them with only two shots, except maybe for the for the heavies. But, y you know how it is. It's always funny, at least to me, to play with big alpha damage guns, especially when they reload fast. And that's exactly the case of the ICU-130. That's, uh, that's why it's funny sometimes. But that's definitely not a tank I would recommend to you if you wanna, if you wanna, ha you wanna have it for as your main tank uh, with uh, the one you're making credits with, uh, the one you're gonna have fun all the time with. It's not th this kind of tank. So only buy it only if you really have money to spend and you really want to get your hands on the nice 130. But otherwise, don't go for it. It's useless. So now, uh, as you can see, all my team died. I'm the only one available alive and there is a light tank in front of me. So I'm just hoping that the guy is gonna go on the cap circle and I'm gonna try to, to ambush him from uh, the small bush at the top of the hill because if I put myself here, I should be able to spot him before he can spot me because I will be able to use the bush. That's my uh, technique, that, that's what I want to go for, so I'm going to wait here. I'm a two shots for him, so I have uh, I have this advantage for me as well, because he's a one shot. I think he has 200 HPs, something like that. That's why I decided, hey, let's stay in the bush, wait for him to move, and it worked. Base is being captured. Here I moved at the very last moment, I shouldn't have, because with an HP I would have been able to, to destroy the guy. But uh, I don't care, I'm going to go in, because probably the guy is not going to try to move. I'm gonna get out of my position, I'm gonna probably get spotted, but I don't care. What I wanted to do in the first place was trying to circle him from a point of view where he, where he was not expecting me. I wanted to go from the left side, try to get on the hill, and after turn back and get to the bulldog. But he respotted me before, so I can't do that anymore because he knows where I was going. So I'm gonna try a bait. That's a little bit ambitious, but you're gonna see that it's gonna work. What am I gonna do is I'm gonna make him believe that I will try to reach him by going on the left directly here. Because if I go on the left, I can turn. And if I can turn, he can circle me. That's what I try to bait him for. He goes, he's trying a shot, but he falls down and my bait work. I just have to turn, I derp him and it's over. We win the game. 
So yeah, two two average games because uh, some people told me they wanted to see me doing average games for uh, in-shop videos because it was more representative on what you're doing with the with the tanks. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed. I want to repeat myself: buy the bundle only if you really want the ICU 130 and if you have money to spend. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Don't forget that you're not here to be better, but to be the best. Pentoof over.